73 later on. And then for the game of the week tonight, Frederick Douglass against Fairmont Heights, 68 to 65 degrees. Definitely cool enough to have the sweatshirts. Of course, Eileen Willen, Johnny Gonzalez will have that preview coming up right now. How about a preview of what's happening traffic-wise? Angela. And wake up, Prince George's County. We are getting pumped for our game of the week live at Douglas High School in Fairmont Heights as we get ready for the big game tonight. And these are the Hornets. Our game of the week here on Good Morning Washington brings us to Prince George's County, Fairmont Heights. A big rivalry game tonight. We're going to bring it to you live next right here on Good Morning Washington. ABC7's High School Game of the Week. Douglas High School is taking on Fairmont Heights. We know you've been waiting for this because we've been waiting for this. Eileen Whalen is out at Douglas, but we start with John Gonzalez live first at Fairmont. They're always checking their earpiece because they can barely hear us. What's up, John? When I'm covering my ears, that's always a good sign. Our Game of the Week brings us to Landover, Maryland. A battle of the best here in Prince George's County. This is Fairmont Heights. They're ready on this Friday morning for our Good Morning Washington pep rally. This is the home of the Hornets here in Landover. They are 4-1. They lost their first game of the season, but since then, they have been flawless. And they have not forgotten that Frederick Douglass beat them in the playoffs last year. Here's the team right here wearing their maroon and silver, ready to go. Let's talk to one of the big defensive guys. This is Jordan. You guys haven't forgotten about that playoff game last year. Tell me about it. Um, it was a good game. We made a couple of mistakes that caused us the game. I hope we have a chance to get revenge this year. What do you think happens tonight, my friend? You know what? What do you think happens tonight? Um, yeah. You believe in your team here. Yes, sir. These are my brothers. They've been with us for four years. I hope we get this one today. What do you think about this uh, pep rally this morning? Um, it's a great way to start the morning off, I say that. <laughs> you won't be too tired in class, I'll tell you that. So, Eileen Whalen, I'll tell you, the Hornets, are you ready? Yes, sir. The Hornets are ready to go this morning. Big Prince George's County matchup. I'm going to send it over to you down the road. John Gonzalez, we are having so much fun here at Frederick Douglass High School, home of the Eagles. And let me tell you, no pressure tonight, buddy, but this school, 5-0. Oh. We've got the cheerleaders, we've got the dancers, we've got the twirls, we've got the football team, we've got the band. I mean, we've got everybody. Eddie Scott, the principal of Frederick Douglass, talk to us about what it means to be selected in high school game of the week. Oh, it's great for our school community. What you see today is a group of committed young men coached by a great coaching staff, parents that buy into the program that really, really love our school and our school community. We cannot be more excited about this opportunity today. Well, you guys have, I mean, a fantastic team. Look at this football team. They have a big game tonight. And honestly, I, I feel excited for them. The band, they're fantastic. And here, I'm going to get to you. Cynthia Thomas, a loyal Channel 7 viewer. here on this final eight Friday from Frederick Douglass. Back inside to you guys. All right, love it so much. Welcome back at 615. It is our high school football game of the week. Douglas at Fairmont Heights and check out the schools in action right now. We are live at both of them where they're getting pumped for the big game with more than 5,600 votes. Just 26 decided the winner. John Gonzalez and Eileen Whalen are out live with the students and the bands, cheerleaders, you name it, they're there. We're going to check in with both of them in just a bit. It is our Good Morning Washington Game of the Week. It brings us to Prince George's County where the Fairmont Heights Hornets are taking on the Eagles. A big matchup right here. Coming up next on Good Morning Washington, Eileen. And it 
is our Good Morning Washington Game of the Week. We are live here in Prince George's County, Fairmont Heights. The cheerleaders, the Hornets, putting in some early morning work. Eileen. game of the week frederick douglas at fairmont heights john and eileen are out there this morning we'll check in with them next 646 and time for our high school game of the week douglas at fairmont heights eileen whalen joins us at douglas high but first let's get to john gonzalez who's at fairmont good morning john good morning a lot of excitement this morning here in prince george's county our good morning washington game of the week brings us to landover Mill. These are the Hornets, Fairmont Heights, and they are excited for tonight's big game. This football team has started 4-1. They lost their first game of the season, but they righted the ship, and they are looking good, and they haven't forgotten that they lost to tonight's opponents in the playoffs last year. Here they are. Here are the Hornets, ready to go. Let's talk to the star wide receiver. This is Jerome. How's the team looking so far? Our team this year is looking pretty solid, and we're ready to dominate on both sides of the ball. Now, you guys lost to Douglas last year in the playoffs. What does that mean for tonight's game? This game tonight is going to be a very important game, and it's a good chance for us to get back at them from last year. So the Hornets getting ready to play the Eagles. And speaking of the Eagles, Eileen Whalen, I got to tell you, Fairmont Heights looks ready to go right now. How's the team looking down there? I feel it. <laughs> All right, what position do you play? I play middle linebacker. All right, wonderful. Well, our Game of the Week coverage continues here on ABC7. It's a winning Friday after those amazing mystics. More coverage coming up. Things for our area high schools, specifically one thing. Yes. Football. Football. And Chip Rear is live for the ABC7 Game of the Week for us. It's a big matchup between two teams with a lot of history, Chip. Yes, we are in Landover, and it's getting pretty loud with the marching band behind me here at Fairmont Heights. Take a good look because they are in position to bring the noise against undefeated Frederick Douglass in a huge conference matchup. Kickoff at 7, live report next in sports. You already know. Keep it locked. They are looking good. And if you look at the cheerleaders and the pop and, of course, the band, if they are any indication... These guys will be ready to go tonight. We are having so much fun here at Frederick Douglass High School, home of the Eagles. And let me tell you, no pressure tonight, buddy, but this school, 5 and 0. Oh. We've got the cheerleaders, we've got the dancers, we've got the twirls, we've got the football team, we've got the band. 5 and 0, oh, 4 and 1. That was at 6 o'clock this morning. The two schools were all fired up. 
Good morning, Washington. Once again, getting people all set for Friday night football. Our John Gonzalez and Eileen Whalen, they were at the opposing schools for the ABC7 game of the week, which is Frederick Douglass versus Fairmont Heights. That's right, and we are getting closer to kickoff for tonight's big game. Chip Briere joins us live from Fairmont Heights High School in Landover with more. Hi, Chip. Hey, how's it going, everyone? The people here at Fairmont Heights have come up to us and continue to voice their appreciation for having ABC7 Game of the Week here for the Hornets in their huge conference matchup against the undefeated Frederick Douglass Eagles, who are behind me in their warm-up period. I'll step out so you can get a closer look at this undefeated team. And Fairmont Heights... This is a primetime matchup that they are hoping is a chance at a little get back. The Eagles have had their number of late, winning this annual series three years in a row. And with a bevy of veteran leadership in their senior core, Fairmont Heights is lit for a dub they hope comes tonight in a huge rivalry game. There are a lot of people out here, big crowd, a lot of hitting, aggressive football. So everybody just on our team, they just need to stay physical and get their mind right. You're going to see a physical game. I mean, JC over there, Douglas, they have a great program. They've been on top for a while. I've been watching them since I've been here. And um, we prepared for this. We're physical. So it's going to be a physical matchup. It's going to be an exciting football game. It's going to be a lot of oohs and ahs in the stands. And hopefully we come out on top at the end. And the head coach you just heard from is an alumni of Fairmont Heights. He wants his football program to rediscover the tradition that made this team so great. If they do that and get the win tonight, that further cements the foundation he has put in place here at Fairmont Heights High School. Kickoff is scheduled for 7 p.m. We'll have another live report coming up on ABC7 News at 6. For now, in live the meantime, on here at home, a marquee game of the week tonight in Prince George's County between Frederick Douglass and Fairmont Heights. Eagles clearing the airstrip early to launch a rocket that lands complete in the end zone. Giddy Tolbert to Malik Petaway. Six points for Frederick Douglass in the Hornets strike back with Jaron Fernando, or the Bumblebee as he's better known. And he stings the Douglas defense 57 yards for six. It came down to a final drive for Frederick Douglass. Xavier Price will get the call to find Pater with a buck 14 left. Eagles convert the two pointer, and in four years in a row, Frederick Douglass defeats Fairmont Heights 26 20 as the Eagles remain perfect at 6 0. I just knew I had to get in the box to win the game and help our team to win. I just do anything for my team. It's but it all starts with the front line. We knew this was the last drive of the game, so we know we would have scored, got the two point, we would have put it away. So I just told them, fight hard every play. My whole thing is we want to put our best foot forward every game, and if so be it that we're undefeated while we do it, then great. You know, if not, as long as we can get there and, and reach our ultimate goal, that's what we want to do.